Let's hope we can get 65 ticks down here. Moving quickly, our favor. Ah, oh, come on now. Don't be doing this. Come on. There it is, right there. On that trend line, right? Expecting that. See if it does. Uh, roll over here so let's measure it from here a 3p move from there is 3307 so what do we want? We want to see uh, one and a half p is thirty-two sixty-four, right there. One p move from there is thirty-two seventy-nine. So we did run that. 2p down move is 3250. Coming back down to S2. There's our target. 3p move is 3222. Ooh, I like that. Five ticks from here is 89. Get down to here will protect the brake line. I'd like to see it get down to at least 64, go one and a half P. Sorry, so let's make sure we get a positive day now. Protecting the well, you know what? Yeah. 
one more time. We'll go three over. All right, I like that move right there. Get down at least S2 here. Come on. Good trade to go our way for a change. Alright, one and a half P right there. Now it's just a matter of how much profit we're going to get here. On the blue line now. Come on. The day the day I get to move on to step two. Patience paying off finally. One breakthrough there. Now you got more than one and a half P in you. Here's two. How close are we? Yeah, maybe. If it wants to go down, it'll go. Go down at least S2. Let's get through there. Come on, just push it down quickly now. Previous break points right there at 71. Let's hold that. Go 73. lucky today. Come on baby, keep pushing down. There's 2P right there. 3 is barely being able to show right there. One 
push through us too. Come on. Push through now. Come on. Alright, we'll protect the 71 line now. Actually, we're going to protect 69. Protect 67, 54, all right, now we're going 64, call it 63. Okay, 64. get us even closer to uh, Monday to go to over 32,000 if we get lucky here and get it today hopefully where did that go to yeah we'll hold hold 63 don't want to see it get above 63 now don't want to see it get above 62 now Down. Come on, boys and gals. I'm not asking for much, just a 3P move down from the high. You can actually see it now. There's our target, 32.34. One more push down here is all we need. It's going to be close. Officially have not broke through 2P. We got to it, not through it. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't look back yet. I'll be thinking about retracing here. Push it down one more time. Come on. That's not looking. Yeah. <laughs> so close, but so far. Within striking range on Monday, though, even better. Thirty-one seven sixteen seventy. Now don't be patient for that one, but we finally caught one. I was hoping for another push down there on the rabbit side of the trade. Alright, so if we were still in it with the turtle. Honestly, I would just protect the blue line right now. Period. Wouldn't even bother with it. I come up here to the blue line. And I would protect the blue line, maybe a tick over it. Let's pause. We'll see how this finishes up with the turtle side. You know where our target is that I was looking for. So what does that put us now? That puts us 31716. We're about uh, less than 300 away from 30 ticks, man, away. 
come Monday. Moving on to step two. Just keep grinding. There hasn't been a lot of momentum driven moves in the uh, from nine. They're just not that many. Just not that many. I like this because it just failed up here. That's why we got involved. Where did I come in at? 32.99 right in here. When the market couldn't break, I think I got in right there. When the market couldn't break, look how many times it attempted up here. You got to see, you got, this is trade what you see, not what you think, right? Look how many times it attempted to try to break up through here. It couldn't do it. There was, there was some supply up here is what, what I'm getting at. They didn't, they, they stopped it. Every time it got up here, they stopped it. So therefore, it was a great opportunity. And we were looking at that fourth time through, right? So we had all these, and it couldn't, it couldn't make it go. So it's like the um, three points of contact and failure is what I guess you could look at. Maximize our profit on that way down, expecting market to retrace back to this line at some point so I was okay with my exit my exit was I was following this and I, I knew the gold line was going to be lagging too much behind on this move and I was I got to grab as much as you can it's just nature of the beast trading one contract you just have to grab as much as you can and uh, get on move on I mean, it's honestly taken me, what's this, day 17? It's taken me way longer than normal to move on. But there hasn't been a lot of good, solid 3P driven moves um, that I like. So you have to alter your trading plan based upon what the market is showing you. So we had four trades plus 25 ticks. And we finish at 31. Pull this over again. Thirty-one seven sixteen seventy. You know what? This ends up being my best trade of the week too. Not to say anything, and it's got to be diligent. Keep working on it. I like being done on Fridays early. I like quick movements. We didn't actually get our quick moving at the 8 a.m. It actually took till when took till Jesus, is that just 30 minutes into trading? Are you kidding me? It seemed a hell of a lot longer than that. I was only 30 minutes into trading and it failed. Um, wow. I'm going to tell you, it felt like two hours waiting for it, something to set up. At least an hour. I would have never guessed that was 30 minutes later when we were taking that trade on. Keep grinding. I'll get there. All right, I am going to get out of here. I'm uh, going to enjoy my weekend now. Happy, uh, have a Memorial Day. There won't be, oh, excuse me, Monday's Memorial Day. I won't trade Monday, so it'll be Tuesday. will be my next trading day. All right, see you then.